pull up. I want to try to share a little bit about creating melodies. So I'm going to take a 1 4 5 progression in the uh, minor key. Let's go A minor, keep it simple. A minor, D minor, E major, back to A minor. And I'm using the inversions. A, C, E on the D string, 7th fret, G string, 5th fret, B string, 5th fret. The D minor is a uh, first inversion with a A in the bass, second inversion actually. So 7th fret, D string, 7th fret, G string, 6th fret, B string, A, D, F. And then E is a first inversion with a G sharp in the bass. Sixth fret, D string. Fourth fret, G string. Fifth fret, B string. G sharp, B, E. Put it together. Really nice voice leading with uh, those inversions. So if you listen to the chord tones, it already sounds really melodic because of the voice leading so close that the E is a common tone with A minor to E. C is moving up a step to D, and the E is moving a half step to F. Those half steps on the soprano top melody note just makes a really nice, smooth, melodic phrasing. And then moving to the E, just moving down a half step from the F to E, A to G sharp. And that A moves down. To B, sorry, the D. The D moves down to a B. So if you use those chord tones to come up with a melody, it'll already sound really melodic because the voicings are so so close together. There it is. So for the A minor, that F note is the D minor chord change. And then for the E major, using that D, the flat at 7, I'm using the chord tones B, D, F to E. F is really a flat at ninth for the E dominant 7. It's actually using the G sharp diminished 7 as a dominant sub. It's the same chord tones in the dominant chord. The G sharp is the third, the B is the fifth, the D is your flatted 7, and then you get the F, which is a flatted ninth. Great tension note that resolves to the E, your fifth. So you put it together. If you add the root, there's your dominant. E, G sharp, B, D, plus the F, flat 9. And I walk down to the A minor, E, C, A. All those notes lead right, right to your uh, tonic. So if you listen to it, uh, the A minor, F, E, back to the A.
So I'm changing the phrasing melody just a, a little bit to switch it up. The first time it kind of ascends up to the F, back down to the D, then a little walk using the fifth of the A minor. The second time I walk down the A minor triad, E, C, D, to the root of D minor, down to B, the fifth of E major, and I use the root of E, sorry, G sharp, the third of E. So I don't go all the way up like the first time. First time this I go up, up there. The second time, go up to the flat and seventh and back down. So I'm outlining that C, the third of A minor. The B is underneath it by half step, and the D is above it by a step. And I resolve to the third of the A minor. So again, you have A minor, D minor. E, back to A, D, E, now if you listen to it, it's a nice little melodic phrase. Rests and pauses are really important if you listen to it. There's a nice little breaks in there. Kind of like a little people speaking there's always little breaks in the conversation and the chords changing on the syncopated you tap your foot it's on the downbeat downbeat upbeat down down So if you put this on a looper, if you count it out, you can figure it out. It's on the three and I think. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three. So it's on four and you're moving to the E and the last. A minor, it's on the two and, four and one, two and, on the two and, you're going back to the A minor. So you're basically going to the E on the four and, and the last A minor, it's two and, one, two and, three, four. Actually, you can do it the first time. One, two, three, four and, one, two and, three, four, one, two, three, four and one, two. You can do on uh, two and the second A minor at the end of the phrase. So the melody again.
think that sounds real nice. So the great thing about those close inversions is that it sounds melodic without you really doing much. That top note, the common tone E, and the A minor is the fifth A minor, and it's the root of E major. And that half step away from the F, the third of D minor. Gives you a really nice smooth transition. Now if you stay on A minor, you play your A minor scale. If you focus on your chord tones, A, C, E, 1, flat of 3rd, 5th, G is your flat of 7, octave, A. You have A, B, C, D, E, F. F is your minor 6 from the A minor scale. If you use F sharp, it gives you uh, Dorian. Whichever one you prefer, let me say. I'll use the open A as the bass, like implied a chord. Land on a chord tone. Now the F sharp. Okay. 